Welcome back to my mukbang. Welcome back to my recipe mukbang. Yay! It's been a while, but I'm back with more cooking series. I guess um, previous ones that I did are like sriracha. Um, what else did I do? Like spicy food. Mm, we have a long, long way to go. So we, I will be doing a lot of cooking series. Um, but this week, it's going to be fish. Um, I think before I did like each series was about like three episodes. Three videos right but for now I think I'm going to stick to two if I can I will try to do three anyways but before we start I just wanted to let you guys know that I'll be reviewing this crazy cool looking knife set this company called edge of Belgravia sent me this a while ago I'm sorry it took so long for me to review it but this set is called lime ceramic chef knife set so this I think the main thing about this set is that it's, it has that really nice grip and it's super light so if you open it up I actually use it a couple of times and they work really really well but it comes with five knives um, I, I've only used the biggest one so far but if you guys want to know more in detail I will leave everything in the description box they do have Instagram they do I think they do have YouTube I'm not sure but if they do have it I will link it down below so I'm going to be using a couple, maybe these three, just, just for the sake of reviewing it. But um, yeah, these are really, really light to use. Oh, I gotta be careful, it's really close to my face. But you can, you know how it has a little dent right here? So it makes, it's really, it's super light. Like I gotta give, I gotta give it to them. This is really, really light. And it does have pretty good grip, but I don't think I have, I've used it long enough to really feel a difference. So I will be using that. For today's recipe, I am going to make braised mackerel. Um, or like, you know, spicy braised mackerel, I guess. Uh, I used I used to really hate anything fish. Like, I used to love sashimi. Okay, don't get me wrong. I loved sashimi all my life. Raw fish, you know? But I never really liked cooked fish. I never really liked cooked fish until really, really recently. I mean, even like a couple of years ago, I started to try it out because i don't know i mean it tastes about to change right and one of the things that i really enjoy is there are some things i still don't really like as much but this one the mackerel is so good i especially the radish that goes in here oh my gosh it's super super good and when i looked up the recipe i couldn't be believe how easy it was to make literally it's kind of like a one pot um, cooking idea it basically it is so even the sauces you don't have to mix it in a separate bowl you can add them individually so i'm excited to share this recipe with you guys really really simple healthy uh, as long as you don't make it too spicy you know so i have my ingredients right here and let's just get started i want to start off with some radish because i'm going to base it baste the pan with some radish so i already cut them into slices but i do have to cut them into smaller pieces so it can fit into the pan well so which one should i use first uh, since we are cutting something big let's try this one this one is is the chef's knife is whether chopping, dicing, mincing, or slicing, the versatile chef knife is cutting edge tool for every kitchen. Okay, so basically this is good for everything. Okay, let's cut them into... Oh, by the way, this is a cutting board, so I'm okay. And I washed it really good. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, I think this is still too big. Maybe cut them into... Oh, I think that's good. Yeah. Cut. I mean, so far it's, it looks working really well. I really like the idea of this being really, really light. Okay, so before we cut anymore, let's just kind of put them here. Oops. Yeah, I think we cut, cut a couple more. I do have two whole mackerels to cook today. So, I could use a lot of radish, right? Yeah, 
It's super light, easy grip. I like it so far. Hi, Yami. Okay, I think I could cut one more. This small piece. So I have some macro here and these are pre-cut so I don't really have to do anything with it I actually washed it and took all the blood out and I froze it for like two days I think and I was dying it today um, So these are ready to go but if you want to use if you want to cut any fish um, I would recommend the slicer knife it says ceramic slicers engineered for slicing roasted meat or cutting fish so yeah, I mean, we could try a little bit. I mean, why not, right? So I'll put this to the side. And then I'm going to take a small piece. I don't want to use my hand right now because i got to cut vegetables too. So maybe we'll get like a... This, like the tail part. Maybe we could cut it. Just to see. I'm sorry. Like I know this might ruin the thing, but... Whoa. Wait, this is kind of frozen. I don't know if it's because it's frozen or... Okay, I mean it cut really well. Oh, it's frozen. Okay, well, we got a small piece right there. <laughs> so let's add the mackerel. Get the big piece. Oh yeah. Oh, well, maybe we could cut, try cutting this one too. It's kind of big. Okay. to try to cut this i'm not playing with food just letting you guys know okay i'll just try to cut this one <gasps> wow it cuts really well oh it cut like through the bone too okay so i think we're good with that okay and let me just wash here for a little bit because i did put a fish on it now let's cut some onions yes we have to put onions in here so i have for this one, which one, let's try to use the utility knife. This is a uh, lightweight in design and ideal for food items that are too large for a paring knife. Too large for a paring knife and too small for chef's knife. Uh, such as peppers, juicy apples, or crispy squash. Okay, so I guess this is kind of perfect for the onion, right? I think I want them in my cube, like a little cube. Like, sorry, can see. Man, I don't like that. Like this, I think it's good. Just kind of. I'm really not good at using knife. A little no, I think that's good. Okay, I think that's good. Um, and now we are going to add some green onions. Should we use a different knife? I don't know. Hold on a second. Um, there's a santoku knife. This is um, this is famous for three virtues: slicing, dicing, and mincing. Okay, that's perfect. So let's put this one to the side. <laughs> okay, and then. Oh, this is kind of small. Okay. okay. That's pretty well. I don't grab too much. Um, I think this is good for now, but we do have to cut up some garnish. So I have some red peppers here. I think the last knife is paring knife. It is 
for precision which i don't think i really need to use i don't use that one today sorry so let's use this one for so this one's for just for garnishing so i just need to let's put this aside right here and then we have some larger onions and then we'll just slice them like this you know i'm not gonna lie though this then i'm not really i mean i'm probably holding the knife wrong but i feel like i'm not making the best out of it so i'm sorry so and clean this area a little bit so for the water part you could just use this plain water which what everybody else does but for me i wanted to try the anchovy and kelp stock so i'm going to put enough so that the radishes are submerged maybe a little bit of you don't want to put too much maybe if I could just add later, but for now, that's all I'm going to put. And then, now with the seasonings, okay, we are going to add two spoonful of sugar. Okay. You just want to just kind of top it off like that. Just one. Oh, this seems like a lot. Maybe one and a half. One and a half spoonful. Okay. Sugar and then we have to add some kochugaru. Kochugaru is pepper flakes. Okay. Going to add about two and a half. So one, two. I like my spicy, so I'm going to put three. Okay. And we do have a lot, so maybe I'll just add a little bit more. Now we're going to add some soy sauce, about three, three to four tablespoon, three to four spoonful, not tablespoon, sorry. So one, two, three, four. Okay, I think four is good because we are adding other things that will season it. Now we're going to add maybe like a spoonful to two spoons full of sake okay and then we're going to add about a spoonful and a half of minced garlic right there. that's good eventually we have to stir it in so you guys don't really have to worry about them all blended in together oh and it had a little bit of minced ginger too you don't have to but if you have some i would recommend it so i have spoonful of pepper paste and a half spoonful of soybean paste right here i'm going to add all of them um, some people don't add these again all your preference i'm going to add some black pepper just going to top it off a little bit and then some changirim or also known as seaweed also known as sesame oil but this is premium. I'm just kidding. I mean, it does say premium, but I don't know what. You know, think about Korea moms. I don't know if this is just my mom, but she always says, "Oh, the the sesame oil they make here is so like not the same as the one they make in Korea." I'm like, I mean, what? It it comes. This is coming from Korea. She's like, "No, it's different. You have to go there and you have to get it." And my sister makes it the best. I'm like, okay, like I think they taste the same, but my mom's like that. I'm going to add about a spoonful of changirum. I think that's it. Okay, let's just... Let's um, get this, all of it out here. Okay. And that really completes the whole thing. I am going to cover it up and I'll see you guys in a minute.
still boiling, but for today, straight add some water, some Christmas cup. Some chopsticks. Okay, let's just open it up. And then. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. So, you just want to mix these guys in. So, we gotta just let it sit. And just boil a lot longer. <laughs> a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> hot, hot. Why is it so hot? Why is it so hot? Oh my god. Let's open. I don't think it's completely done because there are it's still really soupy. Wanna taste some? Okay, I wasn't gonna give you any. So. So, see ya. So it's pretty soupy, but I think I could just leave it on and kind of start eating it maybe. So it's on medium-low heat. I mean, they are cooked for sure. I mean, it's fish. They cook really fast. And I tr looked at the radish and they're very soft, which means it's, it's completely cooked. But I didn't want it to be so soupy. Maybe I put too much soup in here. Okay, well, this will do. What's up? Okay. So, I have some rice over here. With some raw. I haven't used these chopped sticks in a while, so I'm going to use that. But, before I forget again, let's put this to the side. We got some garnish, some... Just for the sake of photos, you know? And then some red pepper. Okay. Yay! Okay. Tastes so sweet. <sighs> That's perfect. I never made this before, so I was kind of scared that it wouldn't taste like Kudun Wajuri. But it should taste like it. Well, I'll try the radish first because I love the radish. The radish. So good, guys. Mm. I actually bought extra plate for my fishies. Mm. Let's get one piece. Let's get this one. Whoa. <gasps> Look at this piece. Let me get some rice. What is that?
Oh, careful, look ashy. Hmm. You see that? It's huge. Mmm, so good. Mmm. I don't really like the skin, so I'm going to skip on that part. But let's take the bones out. Meat, rice. Oh. Mm. This is kind of like the mackerel chungor, like casserole. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? Let's mix these guys in too. Whoa. Oh, this meat. <gasps> mm. Mackerels, I think, one of my favorite cooked fish. Mmm. Mm. I'll leave this on the side since it's too hot. Amanda. Yeah, I mean, was, <laughs> he was scratching the, the balcony door. I think he wants to go out, sit outside, but it's been so vocal today. So. Maybe later. I don't know, I can't get used to the skin. What is that one say? <gasps> yes. Oh my god, this one looks so good. Oh my god, yes. Some rice. So good.
Ja. Na, 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 na. Was wird denn ja? I know I'm not talking, but this is seriously so good. It's like my kind of meal. Sometimes I forget that I'm in front of a camera. No, I love instant food, but sometimes you gotta make it from the scratch. Mm. A little bit of meat on here. <laughs> I'm just mad at me right now. So how's everyone's holiday? I think I'm having a pretty good holiday so far. I 
Although, when we moved to this apartment, we didn't kick it off very well because of neighbors, but it's okay. I haven't really, I don't think I've seen her. I'm not really sure. I didn't even make a dent, but I'm like almost done with my rice, so I'm happy. Okay. Done. Oh, that was so good. Ooh, that was delicious. I feel like I was like zoned into something for a while and now I just got out of it. So that was a really, really good meal. Uh, so I'm going to end the video here. Sorry, I didn't really talk about anything, but I didn't know what to talk about today, and this was really good, so I just wanted to kind of eat. But if there's anything that you guys want me to talk about, make sure to comment below. Let me know. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. We, I am doing Vlogmas this year. Um, uploading Monday through Friday, Monday through Thursday. I'm not sure, but it's either, either or. Um, and I am still doing ASMR, video, ASMR videos on my different channel. Uh, I do do spontaneous live streams so make sure the alarm button is on so that you guys can catch me um, live streaming so yeah if there's anything that you guys have any questions for me let me know i would love to answer for you guys in the next video and i'll see you guys later happy holidays stay warm uh, especially if you guys are in the colder areas stay safe and stay warm and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys